Disclaimer, Crossing the Line is not a show intended to bully or harass anyone. Do not go out of your way to mess with the authors who write these fanfics. They make what we do possible, and we love them. And you. Thanks. Enjoy. Sad waitress girl. He like comes in in demon form. He lost control. He like he's like bring me a burger, and she, and she's new at the at the place. She happens to know him, but she's new at this burger place. Mm. And all the other, all the other workers are too scared to bring him the burger, so they're like you go, new girl. Oh, she and definitely she, has that energy. But she carries it to him, and then she trips and spills the burger all over his like face and his body, and he just looks at her like in full demon form, and then she's like. Oh, sorry, and she gets up to get another burger, and she comes back and does it again. <laughs> he's covered in, like, two entire meals, and he just, like, grabs her, and he's like, we're going on a date. <laughs> so Yo. They go to an arcade, and they play DDR, and he just watches her play DDR, <laughs> and, like, when she gets, like, a misstep, he, when she, like, misses a step, he, like, growls at her, so she's, like, crying, playing a perfect game of DDR. <laughs> It's the most ridiculous scene. It's Wait, been this is Chainsaw Man or Dora Hidoro? Chainsaw Man. Chainsaw Man. That looks like that sounds like it's gonna be amazing in the anime. Oh, it's so good! I can't wait. Holy well, shit! Ah. You know what I can't wait for? Welcome to Crossing the Line, a fan fiction podcast where we read, review, and critique fan fiction for your listening pleasure. Welcome to 2021. It's season four of the podcast. If you can believe that, if a podcast even has seasons to begin with. Yeah. It's a new year. What's everybody's new year resolution for the channel? Or for yourself? Steve Arino Blue Breed. Introduce yourself and start. Because uh, I said so. Okay, very well. My, <laughs> I am Blue Breed. Uh, let's see, my new year's resolution um, for the channel, I guess, really just to get more involved. As for personal uh, endeavors, uh, lose a little bit more weight and also just stay consistent. With uh, art, that's about it, really. And what about you, Virgil, Vlog, Eli, Viva Vlogs? Uh, it's hard to say. I guess I'll stay at my current job for now. But uh, as for creative projects, I want to move these manga review videos to bi-weekly so I have more time to read new series. And then in the background, work on both those to make them a little bit more uh, production-valued. <laughs> and also... I just want to look, work on some very long form ones. Like, if I want to do a review of something I like, it's going to be like at least an hour long, and there's no way I can finish something like that in a reasonable amount of time. So, I'd just like to give myself some time to work on longer projects also, and uh, take away the time I was using to stream so I have like a few hours a week to do that. That's pretty cool. Yeah, so continue to make bi weekly manga recommendation videos for this channel, and then also just work on long stuff in the background. Hell yeah. Hell sound, yeah. Sounding good, sounding good. I would like to see uh, video essays from you at some point. What are your plans, G Pool? I'm so glad you asked. I want to keep drawing and get better at it. Oh. Anything you want to work on? Like, I know you've talked about doing animation in the past or comics. Do you have any goals for those? Foreshortening. Mm -hmm. Foreshortening is what I need to learn right now. <laughs> okay. I like where my style's at, but I realized that the reason I haven't been liking a lot of my art lately is because they're all like the same perspective and the same angle mm -hmm. with no like distortion, which is what foreshortening is. Like when a character's hand is right up in the screen or cover face, whatever. Mm -hmm. So I need to learn that, and then I'll be good to go. Probably, maybe, we'll see. Oops. And, you know, draw, have fun, make stuff fun. 2021, the year of fun. Hell yeah. You all right? I'm making sure we're not on the... Because you're directly... But it's going to be really loud, I'm sorry. Uh, yeah, just making sure, because you were directly behind the mic, we didn't have it on, like, shotgun mode, where it would miss you directly. Oh. But it's full surround sound, so we're good. Okay, we're good. It's on surround sound, baby. Yes. We are surrounded with sounds of Dragon Ball Z. Hey! Yes. <laughs> Our yearly Dragon Ball video. Except for last year Podcast. when we didn't do it. <laughs> Except for last year. 
Oh. Really? I thought so. We've. Oh yeah, because we're going to season four. Yes. And we've done three now. This yes. is the third one, so that makes sense. Yeah. No, I think we just didn't. We just did something else last year. We didn't really think too much about it. But hey, you know, this is episode seventy-four of the podcast, and we've been doing a lot of things, and you know, we're kind of running out of ideas. <laughs> <laughs> but then you have all these big pillars like Harry Potter and Dragon Ball that just have thousands upon thousands of crossover fan fiction. So, you know, we're going to be double, triple dipping on some of the good stuff, the stuff we really like to read about. And we're all very familiar with the Dragon Ball franchise. When we started this this whole podcast, we were in a pre-Super Broly world. That is crazy. We were in a pre-Moro world. <laughs> true, true. That's less crazy. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, you know what we haven't done yet? We haven't done Sword Art Online yet. I don't care. I'm just thinking about it. There's a lot of those. There were like, there were like 10 Dragon Ball Sword Art Online crossovers, and it's like, why? They already have powers. They don't need. They don't get anything out of getting powers. <laughs> it's them playing a game. They're just incorporating their real-world strength with their video game strength. Broly would look so cool with a VR headset on. <laughs> His tiny head. You, we all know... It, it would be the same thing as doing a total drama episode where every story would be the same setup except with such and such character put in. Yeah, but imagine without his hair, Broly's head would look so small with one of those hats on. <laughs> imagine if Chris Thorndike put on the VR headset and he was in Planet <laughs> Mobius. What if he couldn't separate fact, fiction from reality and thought he was really there? Oh, no. That's the catch-22. Krillin would get so many babes in Sword Online, they'd all fall in love with him with no reason to. Just speaking these words, we're making more fan fictions come to life. Which Dragon Ball character do you think would play as a girl in Sword Art Online? Besides the actual women. Master Roshi. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, true. <laughs> Master enough. Roshi with the damn VR headset on in the hospital. Over his sunglasses. <laughs> <laughs> God, Master Roshi's so cool. I love that man. You guys remember when they put Master Roshi in fighters, but they used his super design and not any of his other actually good designs? I wish you could have the tiny man with the giant turtle back. Mm. The turtle back, or even just the orange the orange uh, the coat. coat. Yeah. And that's mm. such an iconic look for him, but they went... The, they made him his super scrunched down super with his tank top on, uh, and it mm. just looks bad. His Resurrection F look when he has dozens of them. They could have so easily done the orange coat and then one of his alts would be the black coat with the Jackie Chun hair. Mm. It's easy. There we go. They haven't really acknowledged original Dragon Ball much at all with that one and yet GT's got three characters in it, I think. George, there was no Super Saiyan in Dragon Ball. So it's bad. <laughs> Where's Yajirobe? I want Yajirobe. There's n we can't sell s Super Saiyan merch of original Dragon Ball. That's why they <laughs> made Kid Goku and GT go Super Saiyan. Do you know the kind of merchandise we can have when every character has four forms? <laughs> Remember when they really started to shill on OG Dragon Ball with like Revenge of King Piccolo and Origins on the DS and Advanced Adventures? Oh, I love Advanced Adventures. All these Adventure. like really good classic Dragon Dragon Ball games. Mm. Like, they learned with GT, Kid Gohan sells, or Kid Goku sells. <laughs> yes, not Kid, Kid Gohan, Gohan sells. Why? Kid Gohan does not sell. Why can't <laughs> Gohan for fighters. Grandpa Gohan for fighters. <laughs> Team Gohan kind of sells. <laughs> Ron Fon for fighters. Yo. Her level three is she gets fucking naked. Yes. What's the pig man? Oolong. Oolong. Oolong for fighters. I'd actually like a friggin, uh, what's it called, a friggin... He'd be like a fucking Shumagoroth character where every one of his moves he transforms. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Some, something like, some kind of glass cannon almost like friggin' Seven where like, if you use him just right he's just explosive but otherwise he's pretty mm -hmm. useless. Mm -hmm. I think that'd be, that. I mean that's his character honestly, that'd be perfect. Yeah. They could do it, but, you know. We'll see. I'm glad we got Baby Vegeta. I do like his design. He's one of my favorite, like... Mm -hmm. Super ba Baby 2, to be specific. Yeah. Fighters was pretty fun, but competitively it was kind of boring because a lot of the characters were the same. I guess. I never really con played it competitively. I only played it with my friends, and I really enjoyed it, and I didn't really feel that much about not, the same thing. I guess but... not a lot of them, but, like, 
when they announce more Super Saiyan characters, a lot of those play the same. And yeah, that's true. So many, so many S- Gokus and Vegetas. Steven and I were talking about this earlier while we were playing Smash Brothers, and I was like, like regardless if you win or lose, are the people that just like do the winning combos over and over and over and over and over per match, like, are they even having fun at that point? Like, even if they win, are they enjoying it, or are they just winning? If they give, I can't stand that. If the creators give them enough escape hatches, they end up playing neutral more than anything. And mm. neutral is where you really see your characters mm-hmm. shine, so I think they'll have fun just playing their neutral. Yeah, it's just where it's one of those things where it all depends on the situation, because every mm-hmm. character has a flow chart to a degree, but some mm-hmm. flow charts are extremely linear. Like Ma- yeah, it's true. M- Mario can up be can up air really, really well into Ganondorf and other heavy characters. I guess like the more like the fewer options they have, the less fun they'll have because they have to do the same things or rely mm-hmm. on the same things. Right. Mm-hmm. Like fucking with Jigglypuff, I have to use Pound. I have to use Aerials. You're gonna see. You're gonna hear Puff a lot. The cool thing about Smash is the neutral resets either forcibly by a death or if they go off stage and come back and they can recover to the middle of the stage, it kind of resets there. So it's mm-hmm. a fun party game. Yeah. <laughs> no smaller, no more Smash Brothers. Dragon yeah. Ball Z. Favorite Dragon Ball Z game? Uh, Tenkaichi 3. That's a good one. Uh, let's see here. It's between uh, Legacy of Goku 2 mm-hmm. and. I That's thought you would have said Boo's Fury. I guess you really like Hercule. I like Boo's Fury. <laughs> it's a. It's. They're both essentially the same game, just one has more smoothed edges, really, Mm -hmm. and you get, like, Super Saiyan forms in that one. Mm -hmm. Super Saiyan 3, I should say, like, I like both of them. Mm -hmm. Like, the the Legacy of Goku series, barring the first one, is, like, decent, (laughs) and then the first one is just bad because it's, like, it feels rushed. It feels hard to play. Mm Mm-hmm. Um, but I'd say, yeah, Legacy of Goku 2, just for the fact that mm-hmm. it, like, introduces a lot of things, and Boo's Fury, I feel, is, like, over time gets super easy, whereas... Yeah, Bo- yeah. Whereas, you can grind really easily in that game. Yeah, whereas in, um, I feel like they keep you on your toes a lot more in 2. And plus, just, like, Android Saga versus Boo Saga. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. You only get to play as Saiyans in, the, in, in Boo's Fury, which is fine but just not as fun mm-hmm. you don't you get, get piccolo or was krillin playable in goku 2 no he wasn't no no he's never playable no. unfortunately no. they get to fight broly in boost fury which is cool you get to fight cooler in go- goku 2 oh yeah he just shows up and then he flies away <laughs> mm-hmm. and technically you can play as hercule in boost fury albeit temporarily oh, oh yeah, yeah i like yeah. that because they actually added the animation of when you do your basic key blast he's using a gun <laughs> i appreciate that <laughs> Whereas when you unlock him in uh, Legacy of Goku 2, his only special move is a peace sign that makes all enemies on screen freeze temporarily. So you can just spam that and just beat the shit out of people. <laughs> That's awesome. And when he flies, he has a jetpack. It's uh-huh. neat. Yeah, I'd say mine is probably Xenoverse 2. I just spent more time in that game than any other Dragon Ball game. I really like the creative character aspect and getting to do the what if scenarios and two or 1.5 as a lot of people like to call it because it feels more so like an expansion than a full-on game but it just improved on a lot of stuff from the first game and they still put out stuff for like PyCon's coming to as dlc if you care about playing as other characters in that game i don't really care about that per se i was mainly in it for the creative character stuff but i still loved it i had a great time I maxed out my character back when I think 80 was the limit, mm. and then your hard drive got wiped and that's all gone. I wonder how many characters are in that game now. A lot. Definitely not on like Tenkaichi levels, but it's up there. Like, probably like 60. We've got the magic of the internet. True, Let's true. See. I also like the Budokai games when those were still like the fighting games of the series until the new one came out, Fighters. Hmm. True. Yeah, I've I don't never really like got to play the Budokai stuff. I just like missed them somehow. I think because I didn't get a PS2 until like pretty later on. So we were I only found games when they were like in the used bin and just never got a hold of any Budokais. My mom's friend gave me Budokai One as a Christmas gift, and my mom's like, "You can't play this. This is violent." <laughs> and it just like sat in her closet for years, and then I finally got to play it, and it like blew my mind. As of 
December 28th, 2018, there were 97 characters in Xenoverse 2. Wow. Wow. All right. So, according to this Google listing, so there's probably over 100 now, if that's yeah what I'm to believe, according to Google.com. That game felt pretty nice. I feel like that'd be fun to go through some of those characters, but there's a lot of DLC, yeah. so... Mm-hmm. Yeah, I mean, I've I've been it's been sitting on my shelf, so I've been thinking about trying it again, just like going through it since they've added so much, not just DLC, but just straight up like free updates to the game. Mm-hmm. So I've been thinking about going through it again because I enjoyed it; it was fun. I liked. To, I made a hot ass Saiyan girl. She was cool as hell. Hell yeah! I also played many RPGs this Christmas break. Finally played Mother Three. Still working on it, obviously. And uh, Xenoblade Chronicles, which plays like an MMO, which I haven't played an MMO since vanilla Final Fantasy XIV, which sucked. So <laughs> it's good to play one again, or one that feels like one again. Mm-hmm. But yeah, it's time to talk about Dragon Ball. Does everybody have their stories ready? Yep. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Steven, why don't you get started then? All right, can do, can do. Okay. Okay, Steven. <laughs> dragon, dragon, I want the dragon. Let's see. All right. <clears throat> Greg Heffley was a wimpy kid. Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> All that changed. <laughs> Everyone already knew this. Even his ex-best friend, Rowley Jefferson. No! Ex? <laughs> What'd he do? <laughs> Hold on a minute. <laughs> Sacrifice him for the gains. His ex-best friend, Rowley Jefferson, kicked his ass at least once every day. <laughs> That's probably Holy fuck. <laughs> I just love his, they're, they're like caricatures of each other. I'm just imagining that doofy smiling face as he's like kicking him in the side on the ground. For those who are listening for the very first time, we read these stories verbatim and we do not read them ahead of time. So mm-hmm. we're all upset already. <laughs> the only people Greg could trust anymore was his gang, the Alligator Pajamas. However, one fateful day made everything much better. One day that would make Greg the toughest kid in school. No, the toughest kid in the world. Is he just going to get powers without having to train for them at all? <laughs> He's getting Zenkai boosts from getting his ass beat. Oh, it's right. true, it's true. <laughs> He's a Saiyan. He's getting... <laughs> he fell on his head and lost all of his primal rage. He fell Saiyan. on his head and went to the hospital. What? Everybody pities him so they won't beat him up anymore. <laughs> What what vegetable is Greg Heffley's name upon on? Uh, he's a vegetable because he's disabled now from being his ass beat so many times. Greg Heffley. Hefley. Hemp. Hemp. Yeah. This was the day Greg Heffley met Cell. Okay. So you're gonna train me, fa- Ugh. You're so you're gonna train me, fam? Greg asked and took mm-hmm. out his blunt. There it is. <laughs> okay, we're <big> blunt. <laughs> Indeed, answered Imperfect Cell. <laughs> <laughs> Why is it Imperfect Cell? That's what fan fiction writers and saying fam. <laughs> is that some... Who's read Diary of a Wimpy Kid here? It's not. Exactly. He doesn't say that? No, he does no, not say fam that. Fam is just like... What an, about it, in the movies? Maybe, no. I mean, I haven't an, read the most recent two or three books, but... Roderick Rules. Fam is like an internetism. I know that, but I wanted yeah. to know if Greg used it. Nah. As far as I know, it doesn't, like, break I'm millennial culture. that old man. No, I know. I'm just friggin' stating. <laughs> but, um... Maybe in the most recent two books, he, like... Wants to be cool online. I don't know. All right, so I'll watch the newest One Piece kid movie. Is it like which five? one's the newest one? Uh, yeah, I think is it five? I think so. I remember the last one that came out. Everyone was doing hashtag Not My Roderick. Yeah, it's like the oh, road because yeah. the they road changed, trip. They changed the uh, the actor who played Roderick. I watched the movies before the Not My Roderick, not because of Not My Roderick. <laughs> I don't care. <laughs> but... <laughs> Are you sure? It just, seems like you do. It just happened to be... I mean, I thought the original actor was a good choice, but yeah. I don't, like, care that much. I think that there was a... Loaded Diaper makes me sick. That's an awful band name. I think that our time for the Diary of Wimpy Kid books was before the internet was super big with little kids. Mm. So, like, nobody talked about it online. Yeah, we were, like, we were still, like, in elementary, oh, early yeah. middle school. Yeah, like, we were getting big. early middle school, the first three books had come out. And they were pretty big. And then the guy did, like, Pop Tropica. 
and he made some fans through that, and then he came back to the books, and the movies came out later later on. Coming next episode, our our in depth review of the long haul. <laughs> oh, that's <laughs> what it was called. The Can long haul. <laughs> I wonder. I like, haven't seen the others. <laughs> They'll be lost on the plot. New actors, new universe. <laughs> it's new canon. Yeah. Into the into the diary verse. Oh god. I can't wait for the I Rowley movie to come out. I saw some happens. YouTube video of some kid ranking all the books and it was like the most like oh it was like yeah, what? What's his, what's his YouTube? What's his name? I'm not gonna, like, say anything mean, because it's just a kid reviewing books that he likes, but, like, it's a fucking dork. I'm <laughs> not gonna say anything mean. No, it's fine. He's a kid. It doesn't matter. That's true. All kids are dorks. Remember that, ladies and gentlemen. That's true. Yeah, it's true. All kids are bad. Never just, interact with children. It was just very interesting to me to see this kid who built his YouTube career on the Diary of Wimpy Kid books, because that's mm. just, like... Something I could have never imagined as a child. <laughs> I wish I could build my YouTube career. It's okay. The long haul coming soon. We'll get started. I will start uh, paying for AdWords this year if they're as affordable as they were when I did them many years ago. Mm-hmm. Indeed, answered Imperfect Cell. But first you must do something for me. What do you need? Greg asked. <laughs> I need you to bring me Android 17 and 18, stated Syl. He's tricking him. <laughs> but there's no way I could stand up to them, declared Greg. The androids were truly tough, as they had been causing apocalypse on the entire planet. <laughs> Greg's so, home. <laughs> is this, does this take place in the story of Trunks' timeline or the normal Dragon Ball Z Greg Howley timeline? I guess we're hitting future Trunks territory, <laughs> yeah. Greg's hometown only managed to be protected by the strange warrior known as... <laughs> Only as known who? as Fregly. <laughs> a strange warrior. Oh, trying to mute my phone, sorry. Oh, my I Lord. can't believe Fregly is any sort of power. Of course. Andrew's He's a freak. 17 and 18 just don't want to deal with him. <laughs> He's the one human they won't kill. In that case, I will teach you one technique, Cell said as, his, as he placed his hand on Greg's head. In doing this, he taught Greg the Kaioken. <laughs> That's only gonna hurt him more! <laughs> All you have to do is shout Kaioken to activate it. I mean, Crumple that, over with a stomachache. I mean, that, that's about as much as Jiro could get from those little mini cameras. Honestly. Goku <laughs> learned that off world. Right. Cell doesn't know how to do the Kaioken. It's a literal Kai move. Oh my god. Why didn't King Kai teach the other pe- the others the Kaioken while they were on his planet? Truly. They were too busy beating up the Ginyu Force. They didn't have enough plot armor to resist it. That's true. <laughs> TN would have had a heart attack. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. All right, I'll go fucking kill those stupid androids, declared Greg as he ran out of Cell's cave. As, okay. he, <laughs> as Greg exited Cell's cave, he was confronted by his brother Roderick. I thought I was going to say he was confronted by Android 17 and 18. <laughs> we heard you're looking to kick our ass, huh? What's this about Kaioken, kid? Huh? Just dead arm him and he cries and falls over. <laughs> They five star him. <laughs> right in the back. The frail, skinny back. Hey, Runt, it's time to get your fucking ass beaten, said Roderick. <laughs> Greg's parents obviously cared about Roderick and Manny more than they cared about Greg, as they had given the two weighted training clothes so they could become stronger. Now then, which bone will I break this time? Kaioken! shouted Greg as he punched Roderick in the face. This attack managed to knock Roderick straight into Papa Tony's pizza. Roderick landed right next to the pizza oven, and some gasoline poured out of his pocket. Cell so did, so did not prepare, prepare him for the consequences of Kaioken. Roderick had gas in his pocket. 
<laughs> just loose gas. His diaper was loaded with gasoline. God. <laughs> the gasoline caught fire and lit Roderick ablaze. No! In mere moments, the entire restaurant was in flames. Greg smiled. He knew with this new power he would be able to kill the androids. If it's enough for Roderick, it's enough for the androids. <laughs> Roderick's about on the same power scale <laughs> as both androids. I guess from Greg's perspective, he punched his brother into a building and it on fire. I wish Android 19 would sap him of his energy. <laughs> Sap him of his confidence. I like Android 19 and 20. A lot of people don't, but I like them. Same, same. Very good. I can't believe... I can't believe fucking Greg didn't get weighed training clothes, but his baby fucking brother did. (laughs) Wait, no, Roderick's his older brother. It was him and Manny, his baby brother. I missed that. (laughs) Manny's like six inches tall. (laughs) We're gonna get Kyle Ken. <sighs> oh my god. You know, Lapis, I found out something enraging, said Android 18 with anger in her voice. Zamasu stole our shtick and is doing it better than us. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. That just makes me want to kill those damn humans more, shouted Android 17 as he flew in the direction of Greg's hometown. (laughs) Starting with Greg, (laughs) happily. You know what books I'm so sick of seeing on the shelf, 18? (laughs) Oh no! These damn diaries. I hate them so fucking much. I wish whoever was writing them would disappear. (laughs) gonna punch Greg Heffley like he did Piccolo and warp his body around his face. Browsing the children's book section. Mm. <laughs> Trash. Waste of time. The Barnes and Nobles littered with bodies. He goes up to the Barnes and Noble employee and asks for a recommendation. They show him like a book without pictures and he scoffs. <laughs> ah, James Patterson, huh? <laughs> Hey, stop right there, fam, called Greg. Do you want to die? asked Android 17. (laughs) Damn, that was was blunt. Greg smiled again. Kaioken times ten! Android 17's face changed from smug to dismayed as Greg knocked his head off with one (laughs) swift kick. How's Cell gonna absorb him? (laughs) Cell's gonna be pissed. Become too powerful. He's gonna stick his his tail right into Greg's neck. <laughs> He's gonna <laughs> absorb Greg like a what if scenario. <laughs> fucking like fucking Krillin absorbed. Yeah, <laughs> that's so funny. I love that so much. Oh my lord! Lapis screamed. Android eighteen, and she saw the damage to her brother. I'll fucking kill you. Android 18 dived towards Greg and swung a punch at him. This knocked Greg back into a nearby mountain. That takes care of that, declared Android 18. Kaioken times! 100! <laughs> screamed Greg. Dear yeah. God, Hunter Android 18. <laughs> Goku never even went over like 20. Yeah, what the fuck? Greg's body's gonna disintegrate. Dis- Disintegrate. Disintegrate. <laughs> All of the above. Before Android 18 could even see him, Greg slapped Android 18 so hard that she died instantly. Slapped her where? <laughs> <laughs> he did her like Senior Palo. It's the one brutal slap. As they fall to pieces. Rest in peace, Android 18. Oh, damn. Greg carried the dead androids back to Cell's <laughs> cave. <laughs> Why did you kill them? <laughs> you motherfucker. I didn't tell you to go times a hundred. Weren't you saying you stood no chance? You killed them. <laughs> Cell absorbed their bodies and transformed into his perfect form. Oh. Finally, said Perfect Cell, for your assistance... I'll train you. Thanks, fam, said Greg. <laughs> There's gotta be a later book where he starts saying fam. We've read so many fan fictions where he says fam. Uh, maybe. There's something you probably don't know about yourself. 
Something shocking, declared Cell. What is it, fam? asked Greg. You are a Saiyan. I called it. Of course. Chapter 2. I told you he's getting Zenkai boosts from all the ass beatings. <laughs> His three true. black hairs turn yellow and go straight up. <laughs> it looks really bad in art form. His unabashedly, his unabashed, uncontrolled, not camera friendly, fucking angry face swelled with a red aura. <laughs> what if he goes Super Saiyan 4? Oh no. It's a monkey tail? <laughs> he gets a monkey chest. Yeah. Oh no, does Manny is Manny's tail gone? <laughs> what, if, what if Manny looks up at the moon and becomes a great ape drawn in that art style? He just gets slightly bigger and looks like a regular ape. Just <laughs> <laughs> a fucking real photo of a gorilla. That's like not cropped all the way. <laughs> Just because it's supposed to be like a kid's diary and he didn't know how to draw an actual gorilla so he just cut a picture out. <laughs> and then Manny turned into this big monkey. It was scary, fam. <laughs> Chapter 2. Every, everything suddenly made sense to Greg. His parents weren't unusual for they aren't human at all. They're Saiyans. It's saying nature to reject weaklings. That's what happened <laughs> to Vegeta's brother Tarble. But now Greg was the alpha. Greg spent five years training with Master Cell. During this time, he had unlocked new forms that Cell referred to as Super Saiyan forms. And having to pay rent because he's too old to live with his parents for. <laughs> Cell had also achieved a new form as well, a golden form he had inherited from Frieza. Yeah. Golden Cell? That makes sense. That's actually cool. Between Saiyan cells and Frieza cells, mm -hmm. it adds up. Today's the day, Cell said. Today's the day we destroy this stupid city and then the entire planet. All right, let's go show those fools our power, declared Greg. Damn, power does corrupt. <laughs> Jesus Do Christ. Do you think Greg got any more buff? Or is he just still just a stick figure? <laughs> Lean muscle. There's like a caricature he does with just his head on a fucking muscle body. I'm imagining that. Yeah. His three things of hair turning gold. <laughs> that would look very bad. What would, what would Super Saiyan 3 Greg look like? They're really long. <laughs> They're like they intense. Just three big french fries. <laughs> Hanging down to his butt. <laughs> He's not a, the author's not allowed to draw eyebrows on him in that form, so, so. he can't emote at all. <laughs> no, <laughs> he always looks disingenuous. <laughs> God, that sucks. <laughs> <laughs> you better draw it for the thumbnail. <laughs> Poor Dude, you can't even tell what it is. It looks nothing like his character. That anymore. one looks so bad. I just want movie Greg with a red aura around him. Mm. We cannot revert to movie Greg. It's too easy. He can only be a stick figure with a terrible design now. Very that well. would get us so few views. I'm trying to imagine how Greg's drawing cell. How horrible <laughs> it must be. Bug. A cicada. A locust. A lot to ask from Greg. During his five years of training, he had adopted Cell's manner of speech. So, Greg, where should we attack first, asked Cell. <laughs> My old house, answered Greg. <laughs> <laughs> For the past parents. <laughs> For the past five years, Greg had been plotting revenge on his family. The same family that rejected him for his weakness. After Roderick's death, he had no funeral. What? Oh, Holy yeah. fuck! Fire. Greg's parents had no desire to honor a warrior who would die by the hand of someone they considered a weakling. All right, then. Let's go, declared Cell. Greg and Cell began flying towards Greg's old house. As they arrived, they kicked in the door. Susan Heffley, Greg's mother, was visibly shocked to see Greg. How could a weakling like you possibly survive for five years on your own? <laughs> asked Susan. 
Enough of your bullshit, shouted Greg. You considered me a weakling, but it couldn't be further from the case. I've spent the past five years training with Master Cell, and now I'll kill you. <laughs> you couldn't even hurt Manny, chuckled Susan. We'll see about that, Craig said as he activated his Super Saiyan form. A Super Saiyan, eh? Not like you could beat me, declared Susan. Greg swung his fist towards Susan's head, but she dodged as she activated her own Super Saiyan form. She then knocked Greg back. Damn it! Even after all of that training, I'm still so weak compared to my mom. She hit you Greg. once. <laughs> no! No, no, no! I won't lose! Kaioken! Super oh. Kaioken. Oh, shit. What is this? Is this the power of a Super Saiyan God? Muttered <laughs> Susan. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about, stated Greg, <laughs> but this is my Super Kaioken form, and now you will face my wraith. <laughs> my wraith. Verbatim. Face my wraith. <laughs> you're so full of yourself, Greg, it would take the power of a god to kill me, declared Susan. <laughs> <laughs> Greg, however, began charging an attack. Kamehameha! shouted Greg. Kamehameha! <laughs> the big green dub. As he doesn't do the Kamehameha. <laughs> yeah, as he just does a basic move. No, he just breaks out of ice. Oh, that's right. <laughs> Fucking world's strongest. <laughs> Before Susan could even react, she was dissolved in the beam. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even have to interfere, Cell stated proudly. I'm glad Cell's looking out for Greg. Say, I'm He's glad. not that bad of a guy. I know, right? Greg would have heard Cell would have killed his parents and his steed. Cell knows he can't survive in the vacuum of space, so once he destroys a planet, he'll be rid of him anyway. <laughs> You seem to be the <clears throat> You seem to be the only one who truly understands my power, declared Greg. I see you are powerful, said Greg's father, Frank Heffley. <laughs> Greg's dad's gonna put the belt. <laughs> he's, gonna, he's gonna cower real quick. <laughs> power belt extend. <laughs> Cracks it against the fucking furniture <laughs> it's like Sephiroth's fucking sword so I was gonna be like no Greg don't cower you can do this <laughs> oh shit Greg, Greg come on what are we train for Greg <laughs> you are blowing it Greg blowing it why didn't you dodge <laughs> indeed I am stated Greg who had reverted back to regular Super Saiyan form who just killed your wife <laughs> <laughs> However, you will not beat me, declared Frank as he transformed into his Super Saiyan form. Ooh. You're likely stronger than Mother was, determined <laughs> Greg. <laughs> so I keep like waiting to see if it's Cell or if it's Greg talking. <laughs> I guess that's why his mom wasn't surprised by the Super Saiyan thing, since mm -hmm. Dad can do it too. True. She could do it too. So I'll go even harder on you. Greg then activated his Super Saiyan 2 form. Uh, a s super, a second level Super Saiyan? No matter, I'll still overpower you, declared Frank. <laughs> How no matter. <laughs> How Foolish, stated Greg as he began running at Frank. <laughs> Greg, this is all just happening like inside of the inside yeah. of like a like a suburban household. <laughs> There's not much room to run. Why did Greg need to kill his parents? Because they betrayed him. They were mean to him. Yeah. Yes. They put him in a cave with a bug. <laughs> he did that of his own volition. <laughs> he did that because he was weak. And then he killed Roderick with the K.O. Ken, and they still didn't acknowledge him. That's they, true. in fact, lessened Roderick's acknowledgement. 
<laughs> they in fact did some. They in fact, uh, what's the word? Fucking disallowed Roderick. Greg elbowed Frank in the back of the head, causing him to spit up blood. <laughs> oh, you'll pay for that! Shouted Frank as he began charging a Gallic gun. Whoa. In response, Greg began charging another Kamehameha <laughs> wave. They both simultaneously fired their attacks at each other and started a beam struggle. <laughs> I just got the thought in my head. It would be really funny if someone took some dumb, like, druggy redneck fight where the two people were just, like, beating on each other in, like, the middle of their lawn, front lawn or whatever, and they put, like, gold hair and all these power flares and stuff <laughs> over their head. That would be so funny. Hell yeah. You know, like, there's, like, the john cena one where he's got the eye flashing and all of his like punches have the huge like yeah. burst effects on them <laughs> this is so good it is G- give up son ordered frank you're no match for me kyle ken shouted greg your the- heart's not gonna last that long greg <laughs> The Kaioken technique allowed Greg to win the beam struggle. The force from the attack left Frank alive but immobile. Uh. Any last words, scum? Asked Greg. <laughs> You'll never defeat your mother, declared Frank. What? <laughs> You'll never defeat your brother, Oh, I thought you said Frank. mother. Mm. <laughs> she, can't, she got back up. She pulled an Android 17 on us. God, I hope Manny has a tail. (laughs) (laughs) Manny will finally be tall enough to fight. (laughs) Use the Blutz waves. Oh, shit. (laughs) I killed Roderick years ago, stated Greg. I'm not talking about Roderick, (laughs) clarified Frank. I'm talking about... Manny! The legendary Super Saiyan. Oh no. With a power level of 10,000 at birth. (laughs) (laughs) As if he could kill me, declared Greg as he fired a key blast at Frank's head, blowing (laughs) it to pieces. Oh god. You clearly underestimate me, stated Manny. (laughs) Greg turned to look at Manny. He had clearly aged quite a bit and was now 13 years old. He was wearing a gold-plated Saiyan armor and a (laughs) green double-eye scouter, similar to the one worn by Tagoma. He is the favorite of the parents. That was much cool stuff. <laughs> but the most notable difference was the fact that he now possessed a Saiyan tail. Yeah! yeah! Yes! <laughs> Hell yeah! He is a monkey. <laughs> yeah, sure, Greg said sarcastically. Get out of my way and I may spare you. Emphasis on may. Fine, let me show you my true power, declared Manny. Manny's entire body began swelling. His pupils disappeared and his hair turned spiky and green. (laughs) Holy shit, you called it twice. (laughs) His chest was simply too big to be contained by the Saiyan armor, so it cracked and broke off. Manny was now five times Greg's size. Yes. This is... A legendary Super Saiyan cell realized. But wait. <clears throat> but wait, Greg. There's still way to ascend, Manny declared as he began charging a white ball of light in his hand. Whoa. <laughs> so he's the great ape legendary Super Saiyan. Oh no! Holy shit! Manny threw his ball of light in the air. Transform into a full moon. Manny started becoming larger. Green hair began growing all over his body. He was still growing. His eyes changed from white to red. Manny had become a legendary golden Uzaru. (laughs) <laughs> Upon seeing this, Greg activated his Super Saiyan 3 form, and Cell Whoa. activated his Golden form. They <laughs> the both fight of their lives. For sure, holy shit. Petty family struggle. 
<laughs> they both began charging at Manny, but Manny knocked them both back with one swing of his tail. He's tough, stated Greg. <laughs> Greg can only take one punch before he starts to fucking puss out. What a bitch. Shell should have hit him more. <laughs> Cell taught him to put all of his fucking stat buffs into power and speed, but not defense. Manny then turns turned towards Cell and began charging his eraser gun. As he fired the attack and dissolved Cell, Greg used the opportunity to attack. He killed Cell in one move! He, he dissolved him. There's no regeneration from that. <laughs> no nucleus. <laughs> no nucleus. With his eraser gun. <laughs> Fucking Raccoon's move. <laughs> Raccoon held the power all along. Raccoon halfway. He just hadn't mastered it. He's gonna do the he's gonna do the Manny Ultra Fighting Bomber. <laughs> oh fuck. Greg used the opportunity to attack Manny Manny. Kaioken times one thousand He screamed as he punched Manny in the fucking head. <laughs> 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 Manny fell onto where Cell once stood and was I've been waiting to hit you in the back of the head when I got home for five years, son. Uh, luckily for you, I remember where your soft spot was located. <laughs> I've been thinking about bullying my brother for five years. Five years worth of a noogie in one snack. <laughs> I've, th- I've been thinking about how to mold your skull into an ashtray for five years. <laughs> Those damn piano teeth. <laughs> Manny fell onto where Cell once stood and was completely immobilized. <laughs> Cell then regenerated ah, and oh. lifted up Manny before throwing him to the moon. <laughs> Jeez. Greg then used instant transmission technique and ripped Manny's tail off. <laughs> Once Manny powered down to his legendary Super Saiyan form, Greg fired a special beam cannon into his chest, killing him instantly. On the list, some fucking Asher's Wrath come. <laughs> this is shit I'd write as a kid. Oh my lord. Where to now? Cell asked as Greg returned to Earth. <laughs> That's a good question. Westmore Middle School. Oh my Simon god, Greg. Greg, chill he's out. He's a school shooter. The end. <laughs> god. Did he not learn it. In the five years, he didn't learn any discipline or like forgiveness or anything? Not with Cell. That's true. Oh, so I was like, man. we're going to bully those kids so hard in five years. We're going to be the best, you and me. <laughs> oh god. Uh... I rate that score, I rate that story a golden perfect cell out of 10. I rate it 10 times past what's physically surmountable in a Kaioken technique out of 10. I rate that one wolf fang fist to Manny's soft spot. Best Dragon Ball girl. Go, 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 go. Who's it? Who's it? Who's it? Who's it? Who's it? Best. Uh, who's your favorite? Been... Oh, God. There's a lot. Uh... Ah, shit. That's hard. Caulifla. Caulifla is incredible. Yes, yes. I like lunch despite her complex. <laughs> mm. Yeah, same. Design wise, I pro- I, th- I like Ron Fawn a whole lot from the original, but she really doesn't get enough screen time to merit it. So, uh, um, probably, God, they're all good. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I'd say either eighteen or Cauliflower, because eight eighteen eighteen gets housewived the least. Mm-hmm. She still gets housewived. Don't don't cross that. Videl gets super housewife, and that really hurts her. Yeah, absolutely. But her, like, her origin stuff is really, really good. Mm-hmm. But everything after Busaga Videl is horrible. Everything after Smoke yeah, Videl was so good. 
I like mm-hmm. her original outfit. Mm-hmm. So you're a ponytail or a pigtail Videl. Yeah, I like the idea of her just wearing an old white T-shirt and mm-hmm. going kick ass. So mm-hmm. <laughs> she looks like a legitimate like trainer. Mm-hmm. Mm, Spobovich kicked the character death, however. <laughs> he said, "You're not interesting anymore. <laughs> <laughs> you will never be interesting again." And then he knees her in the face. And then Goku was like, "No, stop." Don't do it. Her character level, it's depleting. <laughs> She's dying. You can't interfere, Gohan. <laughs> Let it happen. God. Uh, I picked two, and they're both really good ones. Oh, God. Let's Let's grab my water. You can flip a coin. Okay, I will decide by the time you get back. <laughs> For Dragon Ball Z. Now you can join the quest to collect Dragon Ball Z action figures and authentic trading cards. Seven in all. One in every purchase means big kids million you buy. Okay, okay. Do you want to read next or should I? Yeah, I decided on what I what I wanted to pick and it's it's a super super long one, so we're definitely not reading the whole thing. So maybe but we can probably get at least two chapters out of it, depending. Uh, this one does have a big author's note. I'm just proofreading because I don't want to give the, uh, the crossover away right from the get-go. Uh, okay. This should be good. Okay, so, author's note. To set you all straight, there are a couple of things that you need to know. One... This story is centered on Gohan, so if you do not like him, you may not like the story. Gohan fan? Gohan fan? Uh, pass. Next story. Depends what, how old he is. (laughs) (laughs) This story will take place when Gohan is a little kid. Nope, don't like that. Never mind. No, no, no. Also, this will not be a Videl slash Gohan fanfic because I hate Videl's guts. No offense to people who like her. Elias, what's your story? Well, if Videl is a kid, if, Go- <laughs> if, if Gohan's a kid, that means Videl is also a kid, which means she has a good design, so Videl is good. I disagree with this author. You just say a kid looks good? She has a cool design. <laughs> That's it. That's all I'm saying. I'm sure she does. We've never seen her as a kid. I literally just talked about this. Well, not like <laughs> not like a little kid, but she has like the the outfit in the right, tournament. Right, right, right. Keep talking. <laughs> <laughs> I literally just explained this like <laughs> ten minutes ago. George, cut it out, cut out, cut out. No, we got to take him down. No, I went cut out of the part where he defended oh. himself. <laughs> <laughs> That's yeah. No offense to people who like her, but this doesn't mean that she won't partake in this fanfic. She may be around to stir things up later on, and I may change my mind about it not being a Videl slash Gohan, only if I get some reviews from people who do want that pairing. <laughs> I hate how fucking easily <laughs> the fanfic right. writers are swindled. What's the name of the story? I'll give you a review. <laughs> it's like, listen, you fucker, Gohan and Videl are true. <laughs> Go on, go on, Vidal Rule Thirty Four, and send him your best pick. Probably something by Yamamoto San. Oh, Yamamoto or Afro Bull. Mm. Hell yeah! Can we get them on the podcast, Stephen? I don't know them. They follow me, but I don't talk to them. Yamamoto doesn't speak English, <laughs> <laughs> but Afro Bull maybe. True. Maybe talk to Afro Bull. Okay. Here, I'm, I'm sure. sure they're but they're just begging to get on the YouTube scene. Mm-hmm. We're gonna look up Yamamoto of Google Translate. CGI porn is so funny. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it depends. Sometimes the it depends on the model they use and the animation because sometimes they're really poorly animated. Mm-hmm. What do you think about this? Not good. <laughs> they really captured the Budokai art style. <laughs> Blue Breed gave his exhale of confirmation. <laughs> so anyway, uh, I will tell you the other possible pairings later on in the story, because telling you now will A, ruin the fun, and B, it would be kind of pointless. Two! <laughs> the Saiyan Saga through the Android Saga will happen two years prior, parentheses before, the original set time, so Gohan will be two years old 
when Raditz comes. Okay. Everything that happens in those sagas will stay the same. But he's two! <laughs> I can't! He'll be fucking surviving in the wilderness as a two-year-old. Jesus Christ. This is just, we haven't even started the story. This is still the author's note. This is modern Broly. <laughs> Everything so except those will be okay. So everything that happens in those sagas will stay the same, except there will be a different ending for the Cell games. Also, Gohan will be turning eight in the Cell saga and not eleven. So he took a whole another year off of his life. This is it for now. If you have any questions, just tell me and I will answer them to the best of my ability. Okay, I have questions. Wait, what is it? Gohan caused nine eleven. <laughs> no, he's eight eleven. Oh, oh, okay. <laughs> Also, Gohan caused 9-11 in this universe. It is canon. <laughs> he said, Masenko! I might change that if I get enough comments telling me it's in bad taste. <laughs> I might change it if I get enough comments saying Gohan caused 9-11. I might, I might change. change this if you can convince me Bush did 9-11. <laughs> and not Gohan. <laughs> I might change this if you fucking get me banned. <laughs> if you report this fanfic. Now, oh. And also, this is my first story, just to warn you. Now, let the story begin. Chapter 1. Alright. Gohan was sitting in his room, doing his calculus homework, setting down his pencil. He rubbed his blue ti- eyes tiredly. He doesn't have blue eyes. <laughs> I thought he was... Oh, old as he was doing calculus homework? Well, he was always a bookworm. His mom beat it into him and, uh... Mr. Shu, wasn't that his yeah, proctor's Shoe. name? <laughs> he just whipped him and said, Learn! 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 It's true, we called Goku a bad dad, and then Chi Chi whooped his ass. <laughs> I love Mr. Shu, he's so funny. <laughs> he just has an afro, and Chi Chi hires him to come teach him, and he just starts lashing Gohan with a whip. What is he, like eight years old? He can't do calculus yet. No, no. He he's will. a genius. Okay. He has... He's a boy wonder. <laughs> His brain's as big as his muscles. That's true. All those whips will give him a friggin' Zenkai in his brain. (laughs) (laughs) Brain damage, child. (laughs) That's honestly a good point. I don't want to think about that. It makes Broly's entire thing fucking make no sense. Remember when King Vegeta stabbed Broly with a knife? Mm. And he threw him in the trash? He threw him in the trash, and then he got his Zenkai and doubled his fucking already ridiculous <laughs> power for a kid. Broly, it's your father! <laughs> Stray energy beam killed him! <laughs> it's horrible, Broly! Your father was caught in the blast! Go watch Dragon Ball Super Broly, it's very good. Indeed. Let's see, where was I? Uh, he had rubbed his eyes till they turned blue. Yeah. <laughs> he gave him some double black eye. Yeah. <laughs> he doesn't know his own strength uh, yet. <laughs> Punching himself in the eye. <laughs> Mom. I don't feel good. Can I stop studying, please? No. <laughs> Go on, Goku's like, Gigi, did you do this to our son? <laughs> no. He did it to himself for not studying hard enough. Right, Gohan? <laughs> <laughs> Gohan's looking back and forth at mom and dad really quick. Go out there and look up. <laughs> Guys, go out there and look up the latest Dragon Ball Z video by me, Canyon. It's really fucking funny. I gotta show that to <laughs> yeah. you guys. Fan fiction. What? He then stared blankly out his bedroom window, how he wished that his life didn't have to be so chaotic, that he would not have to wonder if he will survive another day. He has always wanted to have a peaceful life, without all the killing and fighting. Don't get him wrong, he loves to spar because his say in blood calls for it. He just doesn't like the fact that it's always a life life or death situation and not for fun. Sadly, his dream for peace will only be that, a dream. The reason is because in five days the dreaded Cell Games will begin. Mm. The only happy thing about this week is that his birthday is tomorrow. He can't wait for the delicious cake his mother is going to make. He is eight. Mm. He can't wait for all this to be over, though, so his family could finally have some peace. If they survive the Cell Games, that is. Right now his father and mother are in the room having their alone time. Mm. He knew for a fact that it would be wise of him not to disturb them. (laughs) For a fact, huh? (laughs) He's a smart kid. He knows what alone time is. 
It's true, he discovered Pornhub in like a minute. <laughs> Mommy and Daddy are having hyperbolic time chamber time. <laughs> 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 they have a whole year vacation in a day. Oh my god. Chi Chi gets to become such a strong mother. Indeed, she made Goten go Super Saiyan with how strong she was. She fucking beat him in terror. She threw rocks at him until he was scared. That makes me laugh so hard. You're just mm -hmm. teaching him how to fight, and he felt so threatened by her, he went Super Saiyan on instinct. <laughs> it's pretty funny how cheap the normal Super Saiyan one gets because they made them gag characters. Mm -hmm. The legend fulfilled prophecy just gets turned into that. Right. Between Goten and Trunks. Once every 10,000 years, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Once every 10,000 gags. Go Goten was destined to be strong after Goku got punched in the nuts. <laughs> and Vegeta. They both they both got dick punched in the movies. It's true, it's true. Vegeta in Return of Cooler and Goku in uh, 13. The cum got his Enkai boost. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and then they had babies. Weakness identified! It's pretty fucked up. They should draw the two eggs cracking in the still shot. Right. With Goku getting punched in the dick. Uh, <laughs> okay, uh, yeah, alone time, mommy, daddy time. <laughs> he is kind of angry with his father for being so carefree in the situation they are currently in. Hello? They may not even survive the Cell games or even be powerful enough to defeat Cell. And what does his father do to prepare? Nothing. His idea of preparation is relaxing most of the time. <laughs> this irks Gohan a little. He's treating him like Gohan, like Goku is his, like the dad of the little league guy, and he's just sitting on the on the couch <laughs> drinking heat tap instead of fucking helping him train. He's mad. He ain't getting no hoe before the cell games. Goku's getting mad, pussy. Oh yeah. It doesn't help that Gohan has an uneasy feeling about the future. He even told his father about his uneasy feeling. And what does his father do? He shakes it off with a smile and a, Everything will turn out alright, Gohan. <laughs> Just thinking about everything makes his head hurt and the noises from his parents' room are not helping. <laughs> he decided a nice rest would help him calm down. The next day, opening his eyes groggily, Gohan slowly sat up on his bed, Sliding out of his bed, he made his way out of his room. Then he smelt the sweet aroma in the air, like, like, bacon and eggs! What? Gohan zoomed down the hallway to the kitchen and hurriedly sat down at the table. Dead. It had to happen. The whole, the whole village of Oolongs peeping on Chi Chi. Oh, fuck. That one weird arc filler arc after the world tournament right. <laughs> before Dragon Ball Z. Oh my lord. Let's see. Ignoring his mother's giggles at his antics from her place at the stove, his father and Her place <laughs> at the stove. <laughs> <laughs> oh, awfully bold of me to say go on. <laughs> He's a smart kid. <laughs> Goku's like, he's a smart kid. <laughs> oh, that's very observant of you, Gohan. <laughs> wow, Gohan, sometimes you teach me things too. You really are smart. <laughs> His father entered the kitchen a split second later, looking wildly for the table filled with food. <laughs> Landing his eyes at the mountain of food made him drool with anticipation. Goku and his father knew that his mother makes one hell of a meal. Sitting down quickly, Goku looked over at Chi-Chi with big, wide, pouting eyes and asked, Hey, Chi, can we start eating? Pretty please. With a sigh, Chi-Chi grabbed the rest of the breakfast from the stove and set it on the table. After grabbing some food for her first, she then told Goku, Knock yourself out. With those words left her mouth, Gohan and Goku dove into the food. When breakfast was over, Chi-Chi sent Gohan out to get some groceries for her. Grabbing the grocery list, Gohan kissed his mom on the cheek and gave his father a hug. He then ran outside and blasted off to the nearest town, which was 500 miles away. <laughs> <laughs> That's completely unreasonable. Why? 
Yeah, they fucking had to live where Goku grew up. <laughs> Completely disassociating from society. They have the Nimbus. That doesn't help. 500 miles is still so far. <laughs> Goku's no longer pure. He can't ride it. <laughs> After he woke up with it, slapped his beer belly and ate some breakfast. <laughs> this aftershave. After he laughed at Gohan's jab at Chi Chi belonging in the stove. <laughs> Neither of them can ride the Nimbus anymore. <laughs> he laughed and saw it side through the window, Nimbus flying away. <laughs> uh, my car! Gohan, take it back! <laughs> JK, JK! On the way there, Gohan couldn't help but wonder why his mother sent him out to get groceries when she had just sent him two days ago to get groceries. The very same day he met Lime, a human his age, he decides that he could say hello to Lime and her grandfather while also getting the groceries on the list. When he arrived at the town, he started to make his way towards Lime's grandfather's shop. In case you don't remember, Lime is the fun filler girl when Gohan met General Tao. Oh, okay. I had that episode on VHS or else I would never know. Mm. <laughs> at the Sun House... No, oh, Goku and Chi-Chi are alone again. Oh. And Goku's got a big belly full of breakfast. <laughs> Goku's gonna return her to the damn stove. Goku's gonna fucking sit on the couch with his legs spread. <laughs> and hold his stomach. <laughs> and tell his, ask his wife for a heat tap. Chi-Chi, after sending her son off, started to prepare for her son's surprise birthday party. At first, she thought Gohan would catch on to her plan to get him out of the house. He is a smart boy, after all. Luckily, he still does whatever his mom tells him to without question, except when it comes to studying. Chi-Chi grabbed the ingredients for the cake she is going to make when all of a sudden the doorbell rang. Setting the ingredients down on the table, she headed towards the door. <laughs> on the way there, she passed Goku, who was doing push-ups in midair with one finger. So he's closer to the door and he can't be bothered to open the door. In midair with one finger, he's not doing anything. He's just bending his arm in the air. He's, he's pretending to look busy. The floor. He's pretending to look busy so Chi-Chi will open the door for him. Sorry, Chi-Chi, busy. You understand. As she's setting up the surprise birthday present. I donate you one break from the stove. Please open this door. Why does Goku keep fitting this lifestyle we're forcing on him? <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. We have doing midair with one finger while keeping an eye on something that was on a nearby table. She then turned her attention back to her destination, the door. And when she got to the door, she opened it to reveal... Author's note. Well, that is it for chapter one. Hope you liked it. Just kidding! I wouldn't be that cruel. On with the chapter. <laughs> okay. Elias they got face. your ass. They got your ass. Elias' fucking I was, face. I was in deep thought, imagining who would be behind the door. <laughs> like, you were thinking, and like, your face looked so upset at that. You, you were like... <laughs> This is a crossover story, so this it could have been literally anybody. You're not That's wrong. True. I guess it will be... Well, whoever it was, they had to f go to 500 miles, so I'm going to guess it's the wild thornberries, because nobody else would be bothered to enter this forbidden wilderness. I forgot this was a crossover. Oh, fuck, my options got slim fast. Uh, let's see. They had to go that far... Probably going to West City or Capsule Corp. Uh, I'm saying the Jetsons. The Ox King, holding a lot of wrapped presents, huh. stepping out of the way to let him in, she then guided him towards the living room, where the party will be held. Sitting down the presents, the Ox King turned towards Chi-Chi. Well, hello there, Chi-Chi. How are you today? I'm feeling good. And you? <laughs> Oh, I'm doing very well, and I feel excited for my grandson. Well, you should. It is his birthday today. Now that you are here, you can help me with the decor, <laughs> since Goku won't. <laughs> <laughs> Goku, who ran into the room with a shocked and prideful face, abruptly cut off Chi-Chi. <laughs> Imagine, like, running like a cartoon character into the room. <laughs> <laughs> the Scooby-Doo sound effects. Yeah. Like, all of his limbs scrambling. <laughs> 
Um, Chi. Began Goku. What is it, dear? Asked Chi Chi. Do you remember when you told me to keep an eye on that pregnancy test you did earlier and to tell you when the results show? <laughs> it gives him the most simple task. Just look at this piece of plastic today. This is your job. It's all he, it's something he can do while he works out. It's perfect. Goku, hold this while That's why he was like... <laughs> He's pushing the plastic button over and over again. It's like resetting it. <laughs> so they don't know. Yes. Well, according to the test, you are pregnant, said a slightly uncomfortable Goku. What? Really? I asked a surprised Chi Chi. Um, yeah. It's a... They were fucking yesterday! <laughs> How quick is a pregnancy test? Super Saiyan swimmers. They were in the hyperbolic time chamber. No, they weren't. I made that <laughs> up. <laughs> they don't have one in their bedroom? The wonders May that, as well. The wonders that Saiyan systemic oppression will do to a woman's egg. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to be a mother? You already are! She is, <laughs> slowly. <laughs> <laughs> yep, but I'm going to be a father, Goku stated proudly. <laughs> the neat high five ducks, King. They deserve each other, I love it. Finally, you two are having a baby. <laughs> he already forgot he bought presents for his son, his grandson. <laughs> Fuck off. <laughs> these are for... It's a good thing I brought all these presents to this baby shower. Goku faltered. Um, Chi, are you alright? Chi Chi's shoulders started to shake. Chi. All of a sudden, Chi Chi jumped onto Goku while screaming, "Hell yeah! Oh. Finally, after all this time, we're gonna have another baby!" Oh, Goku! After that little episode, the three happy adults were about to go back to setting up Gohan's party when someone or something suddenly crashed through their window, which turned out to be back with uh. Gohan. It's a mystery. It's a football. <laughs> a football crashed through their window. He chiseled it. It's Fred from Scooby-Doo. He says, sorry guys, just playing ball. <laughs> hey, anyone want to spar? <laughs> <laughs> want to spar? Goku's <laughs> like, me? Just punches a hole in Fred's body. Fred threw a football 500 miles and had to run to go get it. <laughs> he did. Goku punches him and it punches a hole in him like drywall. <laughs> it, flat, it, comes out like, it comes out like drywall too oh my God. powder <laughs> after getting the groceries Gohan decided to stick around to catch up with Lime he was curious on how her village is faring it's going alright I guess the town is back to normal somewhat but there is fear still lurking around and it will not disappear until Cell is destroyed states Lime's grandfather seriously <laughs> It said he was talking to Lime. Come on. I understand, replied Gohan. Continuing on with their conversation, being completely unaware of something that will have a great impact on Gohan's future. Chap and chapter one. Chapter two. Back to the sun house. Which turned out to be none other than Cell. Oh, whoa. Cell fucking threw himself through their window like a football. <laughs> it's the man who, like, landed face down on the ground. He crashed into a ball of blue. He's like, ugh. I'm imagining, like, fucking semi-perfect Cell with his big, dumb lip face. <laughs> Where's the girl? <laughs> I can't find the girl. I play football. You want to throw the pigskin around? I'm bored waiting for the cell games to start. <laughs> oh yeah, that is happening. <laughs> he reverted. <laughs> he digested. <laughs> he digested the androids and they got him out of his system. He digested a local redneck and became stupider. He spat out 18 to have a fucking pigskin throw partner. Cell farmer absorbed. <laughs> <laughs> mm-hmm. Grinning maliciously, Cell said a creepy... Well, hello there. <laughs> Stepping in front of Chi Chi and the Ox King, Goku growled out, What are you doing here, Cell? He scrambles to his feet after flying through the window and then smoothly says, Hello there. <laughs> 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 Wiping glass off. Wiping glass and blood off his face. <laughs> oh. 
like stretching his back out. <laughs> you won't believe how hard it was to get here. I really thought I had to throw myself through that window, but it wasn't that hard to break. You you live so fucking far away. <laughs> <laughs> what am I doing here? Isn't it obvious? I've come here to kill you, seeing it as a birthday present for dear Gohan. Why do you know that? <laughs> <laughs> you can't do this, Cell. We made a deal, Gohan stated fiercely. So? <laughs> <laughs> Got him. You should know that I care, could care less about the deal. I just said I would wait just to humor you. But I've grown bored now, so I decided to kill you now instead of later. With that, the battle began. Goku charged Cell with a punch, but Cell quickly disappeared and reappeared behind the shell-shocked Chi-Chi and Ox King. Why did they do this pregnancy B-plot? Just so Goten's canon, I guess? I don't know. They're gonna complete the ritual. It's the same story, except Go Gohan's having a birthday party and he's also three years younger. Hmm. I'm sorry we couldn't get to know each other better. Oh well. And with that cell obliterated Chi-Chi and the Ox King with two what? blasts. One for each of them. <laughs> That's no! why they made her pregnant to kill her me. No! Go Cried out Goku in despair. Goten's fucking gone. <laughs> He's gonna get such a big Zenkai boost from that. Oh he is, he is. That's why he gets Super <laughs> Saiyan. <laughs> Back with Gohan. Gohan's face turned pale while turning his head towards the direction of his home. What's the matter, Gohan? asked Lime. Mom! Grandpa! whispered Gohan and without a second thought ran out of the shop and blasted off full speed towards his home, leaving behind a confused Lime, a worried old man, and forgotten grocery bags. He wasn't the only one that felt Chi Chi and Ox King's key disappear immediately. All of the Z fighters immediately headed towards the Sun Residence at top speed. Can they all really feel Ox King and Chi Chi's key? Is it that notable? Maybe Ox mm -hmm. King. He's pretty tough. I don't know about Chi Chi. She had a funny gag helmet. Ah, uh, true, mm. true. Maybe she has like a life alert necklace. <laughs> That goes off when she's obliterated. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it tells Claim what the she's insurance dead. now. <laughs> No, you monster! screamed out Goku. <laughs> that felt real good. And now, Goku, it's your turn, stated Cell with a disturbing grin. You'll pay for what you've done, Cell! The battle began once again. Actually, it was all one-sided. Goku, blinded with rage, could not land a punch on Cell, while Cell, on the other hand, was landing some powerful punches that left Goku badly injured. Goku knew from the beginning that he wasn't that he was going to lose this fight. Even if he wasn't blinded with rage, he knew deep down that he was just not powerful enough to defeat Cell. He wishes that Gohan survives this and with that ending thought, son Goku san was destroyed by his own signature technique, the Kamehameha wave. Uh, oh no. Gohan froze in midair. No, oh, he thought. Not his father. But deep down, he knew his father was just killed. Tears ran down the eight years old's face. No, he thought, clenching his fist. Cell, he killed them. Killed them all. I'm all alone now. He's going to pay. Who, pay! Who's going to be at the stove? With a mighty scream, Gohan's appearance started to change. Energy started to swell around him. His hair, if even possible, got spikier, disobeying gravity. Teal eyes turned a cold blue, and with the final scream, his appearance was permanent. Gohan achieved Super Saiyan 2. Gohan used his newly acquired power to instantly appear at his home. He was met with a blood-covered cell, That's laughing not... insanely. Can't just acquire the teleportation. I think it's implying he's so fast now. Okay. Uh oh no, instant transmission is a learned technique, despite what they have you believe. Cell finally noticed Gohan, stated, Well, hello there, Gohan. Do you like your birthday gift? I wanted to make sure you got it on time. Those words angered Gohan even more, and he punched Cell hard in the gut without <laughs> warning. 
caught off guard by the punch and the fact that it damaged him badly, Cell started spitting out blood, which was followed by him puking out 18, which made Cell <laughs> revert to his imperfect form. That's so gross. One punch. Oh, like, hold on, hold on. <laughs> <laughs> <The> entire body. <laughs> Go on, just like, yo, what the fuck? This woman he's probably never seen before. Right. <laughs> Cell holding his stomach, trying to regain his breath, looked up to the imposing, powerful eight-year-old boy with fear in his blue <laughs> eyes. What? <laughs> But aren't you? Cell stuttered. You are executioner, was the calm response from Gohan. With that, he killed Cell, down to the very last Cell. With Cell gone forever, Gohan collapsed to his knees. I failed everyone. If I was here sooner, none of them would have died. I can't stay here. I have to get out of here. With that, he quickly went into his room where he grabbed some clothes, money, a picture of his friends and family, a bag of sensu beans Corrin gave him on his last birthday, and what appeared to be a watch. With these items packed into a knapsack, he hightailed it out of his home, flying away as far as he can, totally forgetting the unconscious form of 18. A minute later, he found himself in what appeared to be a park, and then reverted back to Super Saiyan. He then put on a black watch with a red and silver button. He then pressed the red button, which caused the, his watch to stay in a computerized voice. Key masking ability activated. Okay. This reminds me of Spy Kids. <laughs> yeah, when, when uh, <laughs> Spy Kids have to lower their key. They just like fly to a park to escape the people, and they like use their gadgets there, and it just reminded me of how this was framed for some reason. True. Grinning tiredly at his invention, he then collapsed from exhaustion into a fitful sleep at the Sun House. The Z Fighters arrived there, only to be met with a wrecked hose and an unconscious 18. God, the crossover was right there! He was so close! <laughs> but he didn't get there, dang. What in, den- what in Dende's name happened here? asked the shocked Krillin while hoisting an unconscious 18 over his shoulder. I don't know, dude, replied an equally shocked Yamcha. I just like how Krillin walks in, picks the woman off the floor, throws it over his shoulder. He's like, this is mine. What happened here? Hell yeah. I like how Yamcha said, I don't know, dude. <laughs> There's blood everywhere. Krillin saw the sex bot, recognized his opportunity immediately, and claimed it. Finally, someone for my stove. Nobody better ask questions. <laughs> Nobody better ask questions. She came on to me. <laughs> she was on my shoulder when we got here. <laughs> she shouldn't have kissed him in the, on the cheek if she didn't want this to happen. <laughs> Whatever happened here must have been awful. It was so, stated Piccolo coldly. The others looked for him with shock and fear, except for Vegeta, who only raised an eyebrow. <laughs> So, he did this? asked Krillin. Yes. Unlike some of you, I paid attention as best I could on the way here, replied Piccolo. I, as well as my father, have a pretty good guess on what happened here, commented Trunks. We felt that weakling Kakarot get killed by Cell. A little after that insect killed Kakarot's harpy and her father, grunted Vegeta, angered at the fact that... Vegeta doesn't know Ox King. He doesn't know his key. I know Ox King's key anywhere. I trained with Ox King in the hyperbolic time chamber. I forced him in there. He didn't fit him on. (laughs) With all his strength, he couldn't squeeze Ox King through the door. Ever wondered about the Ox King-shaped hole in the doorway? (laughs) Why the door has been modified to be shaped like Ox King? And his helmet. <laughs> of course, that's his character. Angered at the fact that he won't get to fight Goku since he's dead. The other Z fighters stared at Vegeta in disbelief, with the exception of Piccolo and Trunks, of course. You mean Goku lost and died? Krillin began slapping the ass on his shoulder for good measure. Hell yeah. I made that up. Aww. <laughs> But if that's true, then what was that amazing key? Kai, key, Kai, was it Cell? 
Moreover, where's Gohan? What do you think I am, cue ball? A flippin' seer or something? I wasn't actually here, so I don't even know if my hypothesis is true or not. So shut the heffle up before I make you. Bit out a pissed off Vegeta. Bullying Krillin. A flippin' seer. His best friend just died, and Vegeta's bullying him already. Cool it, Vegeta. Now is not the time to start a fight. We need to know exactly what happened. The only person who could possibly know that is neither dead or missing is Dende. So let's head towards the lookout, stated Piccolo. The Z fighters agreed to Piccolo's reasoning, and with the unconscious 18, they headed towards the lookout. Why are they bringing her? She's her. She's Krillin's now. It's true. End of chapter two. Where's the crossover? Ah! It's coming. Should I read another chapter? We're already at an hour 30. No. Okay. <laughs> it was Code Lyoko. Okay. Gohan, was, Gohan becomes Jeremy. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh my lord. That's hilarious. <laughs> That's 54,000 words. <laughs> what I was really, your problem? I really thought that... Because it... The description is Ken Jeremy, who used to be known as Gohan, keep his past identity oh from his friends, God. especially Xana. So it, I was for sure going to be from the get-go. Mm. But no, he's got to go have a birthday party. There's got to be mommy-daddy time. I rate that story a mommy-daddy time out of ten. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I rate that story a hundred... Goku upside down push ups where he's not doing push ups, he's just floating and touching his finger to the floor. <laughs> <laughs> he's cheating. I read that a fat android ass fucking work in the stove. Out of ten. Alright, I have two stories, but one involves an OC, so I'm not going to read that one. <laughs> oh, but I wanted to be introduced to it for three chapters. <laughs> it is 8,000 words, so it would be time. <laughs> This 2,000 word one instead. Epic. Oh, we know. Woo! Let's go. Woo! <clears throat> There's a disclaimer. I don't own either of these properties. It's not owned by me. It's owned by Akira Toriyama and the other person. I did not make money off of this. Yeah, that's to yeah, be expected. Yeah. Why not? Why would you own this and write fan fiction about it? Why would you make money off of this fan fiction? <sighs> no. I wonder if someone's ever gotten in a lawsuit on fanfiction.net and everybody's just afraid. Good question. Because oh. that's, that's in like borderline every fan fiction <laughs> mm. author's mm. note I do not own such and such well, it could just be that they're seeing other people do it and it's all just mm. spread but well. yeah and they're also children <clears throat> anyway fanfic on the planet earth 13 year old son Gohan was laying on the ground on his chest with his entire body covered in cuts and bruises and his cloth torn to shreds oh Gohan couldn't believe what had happened in the fight against Cell. Gohan thought things were going to turn out well. <laughs> this is just chapter 3 of the story I was reading. <laughs> when, when him and his father Goku, along with the rest of the Z fighters, went to fight in the Cell games, as the plan was for Gohan to fight off against Cell by himself using his Super Saiyan 2 form, but instead Cell had proven to be more powerful than any of the Z fighters thought. Cell had beat the young half Saiyan into a bloody pulp as Gohan found out he was not even powerful enough to stand up to the android, who then quickly proceeded to kill off each and every one of Gohan's friends, including his father. Goku, by breaking the powerful Saiyan's back, killing him right in front of Gohan's eyes. <laughs> now Gohan could only watch in defeat with a broken left arm as Cell activated his self-destruction system to take the Earth and Gohan with him as a final blow to take away the one final value that Gohan had left. Why does he need to off himself? He can very clearly destroy the Earth otherwise. That's true. If he did win, there's no reason to do that. Mm -hmm. He doesn't want to die. He wants to be perfect. Okay, Gohan says, Man, I can't believe this. <laughs> oh, me neither, buddy. <laughs> Why is it that after all the training I have been being through and the power I obtain, I still wasn't strong enough to stop Cell and save my friends and dad? Now there's nothing I can do to stop Cell from carrying out his final plan. I just wish there was a way for me to save the Earth one more time. Thought Gohan, angry as tears started to come down his cheeks. Is that what you want, Gohan? Another chance to save the Earth? 
ask a female voice speaking in it's Gohan's Wanda. head, making oh, Gohan's shit. eyes open wide in shock. He got his fairy godparents just in time. Hell yeah. Who are or what are you? More importantly, what are you doing speaking in my head? Said Gohan, surprised, as he looked around the area for the source of the voice. Huh? Huh? Who am I is not in importance right now, young Gohan, as you don't appear to have much time left until you were blown up with this earth. What I want to know is are you really serious about wanting another chance to save the earth? As if you are, then I can help you with your wish, replied the voice in a serious tone. You mean I can give me another chance at saving my home and my friends and family? Asked Gohan in a shock voice, as he couldn't believe what he was hearing. Not exactly, Gohan, as there's no way to save your Earth as it is doomed no matter what I do. What I am offering is for me to send you to a different Earth, that you could use your powers to help save it from evil. As you are the most pure of heart a person that I have ever seen. So you can either take off my offer, or I can leave you here all alone to face your fate. So what will you choose, young Gohan? It's a Gohan Isekai, <laughs> replied the voice. Oh, no. <laughs> God. I will take your offer, as no matter what earth I am on, I will not let evil beings being like Cell destroy it and its people. So please, send me wherever you need me to go. Except for this one. <laughs> and I want another chance at saving Earth, yelled Gohan. I want it! I want to save Earth! <laughs> if that is your answer, young Gohan, then I will grant you your wish as you more than anyone else deserve a second chance. I wish the best of luck to you, and hope you are successful in your mission. Goodbye, and good luck, son Gohan, said the voice. With that, Gohan was enfulged by a bright white light, just as Earth started to break apart. When the light faded, there was no sign of Gohan, except for a burnt piece of rock where he had once laid. Alternate Earth, location, New York. He was fucking sizzling like a scrambled egg. <laughs> okay, he's in New York. Where do you think he is? In the sewers. <laughs> oh boy, here we go. Uh, location, New York. It's gonna get fucking mutated. Downtown New York City that never sleeps <laughs> and the money capital of the world was under siege from a madman, some would say. Inside of an old warehouse, Better. Tim Scam was looking at his latest triumph, a Finnish time machine, that if it would work, would allow him to travel through time and wipe out all of his enemies before they were even born. Tim Scam? The parts needed to build it were hard to find, which resulted in... T Don't look it up, just wait. <laughs> As a result in Tim Scam having to steal them from many high-tech facilities. The thefts, however... Didn't go unnoticed by Whoop, who had decided to I had send... this one picked too! Ha <laughs> ha <laughs> Decided to send their uh, three was, best agents. This was the one I almost picked. I was like juggling between the two. Oh my god, is this totally spies? <laughs> their three best agents, Sam, Alex, and Clover. Hell yeah. After Tim Scam to capture him. Now Tim, Tim Scam, Scam had power his machine, was getting ready to open up a time portal. When suddenly the doors to the warehouse blasted right open as Sam, Alex, and Clover entered with angry looks on their faces that were directed at Tim Scam. <laughs> <laughs> you bastard, Tim Scam! <laughs> That's insane. There are thousands of Dragon Ball fanfics, and we still like almost pick the same one. <laughs> that is true. It's in my favorites. Well, well. Looks like you three young ladies managed to survive my little death trap that I had set up to finish you three off for good. What fetish fuel kind of death trap do you think Tim Scam created? A 17 mile long spanking machine. <laughs> An automated uh, vacuum robot that sticks its hoses in your jumpsuits and blows you up. <laughs> An automated vacuum robot that sticks hoses in your jumpsuit and sucks them up even tighter. There we go. And also puts them back over your head. <laughs> uh. You bet your butt we did, Scam. As you should know from our last encounter, there's nothing you can throw at us that we can't take care of, replied Sam. You guys want to watch an episode of Totally Spies after this? Not particularly. That's a yes. <laughs> So how about we just give up before we end up having to hurt you any more than we need to, added Clover. I think not, ladies, 
as I am not going anywhere with you. Not when I am so close to finally getting my revenge on you three and whoop. These are real people. Gohan's going <laughs> to obliterate him. <laughs> As when I am done, you three will no longer exist. And I know just how to keep you three bust while I go through with my plan, said Tim Scam, angry. Staring at their busts. <laughs> he said he tried to say busy, but looked at their breasts. And said bust. <laughs> keep you three bust. Keep you three bust. Mmm. <laughs> mm, milky. <laughs> you bitchy Busters. <laughs> With that, a group of about 30 humanoid robots came out of nowhere and quickly surrounded Sam, Alex, and Clover. They all look like bio men. They all have tentacles. <laughs> Man, why is it that we have to face robots like for the 10th time this month? I'm starting to get sick and tired of this, said Alex, annoyed. I know what you mean, Alex, but I think we should just talk later. As of right now, we have a couple of metal tin cans to take care of. Now let's show these robots who is boss girls. Use the lipstick laser. <laughs> Said Sam, looking at Alex and Clover. Who's your favorite Totally Spies girl? Uh, Clover. Uh, let's see. I like them all, honestly. I guess if I had to choose, I guess uh, one with the brown skin. Alex. Alex. I'll say Sam just for the sake of it. Okay. <laughs> we all have one. I do like mm -hmm. Alex a lot, though. Clover's good, too. They're all mm -hmm. good. Let's watch yeah. Totally Spies. Oh, don't. I don't think you'll be... I don't think you'll be... I don't think you'll... I'll be like horny. As as you, as you think you will. <laughs> worst comes to worst, I'll put it on on our way home. <laughs> With that, Sam, Alex, and Clover quickly charged at the robots while Tim Scam went back to getting his machine up and running. Unfortunately, hate that name. His unspecific machine. <laughs> he said it was a time machine. Oh yeah, that's right. I don't know if that's like his. I guess it's his. How big many machines machine. do you think he's got? I don't know. That doesn't seem like it does anything. I mean, time Tim, travel's cool, but how does it? Tim scams cortex vortex. <laughs> he's still a guy. What is he gonna do with more time? Go back and stop the totally spies from being born. <laughs> Go guess. Cucking all of their parents back in time and working out so he's attractive and can cuck his pants. Their, their parents, I mean. Mm -hmm. <laughs> not, not, not his oh, own mom. Oh, Get no. back to the story. <laughs> uh, unfortunately for Tim Scam, Alex had managed to grab a hold of one of his robots and threw it in the air where it ended up hitting the machine really hard, creating sparks and smoke that was coming off the machine itself. <laughs> they didn't count on raw destructive power. You fools! Look at what you've done! The machine is going to self-destruct because of what you have done! <laughs> Yelled Tim Scam, angry. Tim Scam quickly decided to make a hasty retreat, leaving the three spies to fend for themselves. Fortunately for the spies, Sam quickly, man quickly manged to get over the run and shut it off before any major damage could be caused to them and the surrounding area. But the damage done to the machine had been done of it ever being used again. Sam, Alex, and Clover look inside of the crater of where the other half of the machine once stood and were shocked to see a young boy about 12, 13 years of age with short black hair. Does this imply Goku is on the same timeline as them, just in a different sure. time? Different multiverse. Haven't you seen Dragon Ball Multiverse on YouTube? No. The Totally Spies are in it. What? No, they're not. <laughs> it is like a pretty well done fan thing. Animation's pretty good. I'm pretty sure it's like a one person thing, but it's just a bunch of different timeline Dragon Ball stuff. Mm. So Alex, or one of the girls, threw a robot at the box that is the time machine and it exploded. Oh, <laughs> and, and, it, and its explosion was Gohan. Nice. Who the fuck was the fairy that summoned him to Totally Spies World? <laughs> <laughs> I didn't. It didn't sound like they needed him there, to be honest. Well, they eventually need him. There are when, villains in this time. When Tim Scam gets infected by a tuffle. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh no. Becomes Baby Tim Scam. <laughs> Baby Tim. Super Tim 2. Tiny Tim. <laughs> Inside of the crater, there was a boy about 12 to 13 years of age with short black hair that had three black stands that seemed to stand straight up in the air wearing what they could only describe as purple ghee that was torn in many places. 
revel in a well-toned body that was covered in cuts and bruises like the boy had been through a tough fight for his life. And Sam could tell by looking at the boy, his left arm appeared to be broken. Yeah, what... I, I kind of expect that he'd be like, get like a full heel or something. <laughs> no, he's a broken travel. arm on the floor. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he just comes out of a, he just falls out of a time from portal and falls like six feet into the cold concrete. They could easily just leave him there and he'd be dead. And they'd be like, <laughs> who's this kid? I'm not a babysitter. <laughs> But what really caught the girls' attentions the most was the long brown monkey-like tail that was coming out of the boy's spine and a hole in the boy's pants. They saw his big poop. <laughs> <laughs> All right, who is this boy and where did he come from? <laughs> <laughs> They're so annoyed immediately that a boy just fell out of a time rift. I don't know, Alex, but what I do know is this boy needs medical attention as he's covered in cuts and bruises. Not to mention his left arm seems to be broken. It looks like it was done on purpose and not too long ago. (laughs) (laughs) Sam is the smart one. But the question remains, where did he come from? What is he doing with a monkey tail growing out of his back? I may not be smart, but I know for a fact that no human being has a tail like the boy has, replies Sam, confused. No, you are the smart one, Sam. (sighs) Well, if you ask me to, that tail makes him way cuter than he already is. Not to mention he has a body guys would die to have. He's He's bleeding! He's like 11! He's 11 and bleeding! (laughs) Die to have that body. He's dying to have that body. (laughs) He's laying there with a broken arm, bleeding out. I'm one of those guys! (laughs) He's like dying. These girls are so hot. (laughs) <laughs> I'm glad they're my body. <laughs> one of them's ooh, one of them's gonna fucking moon him and he's gonna turn into a great ape. <laughs> that would solve his issues. Bend over in their giant spandex suits. Hell yeah. <laughs> he turns into an Uzaru. Yeah. <laughs> he turns into a big broken armed great ape. <laughs> he's so horny. <laughs> He absolutely would not take a moment heal him if he turned into a big monkey. <laughs> Bend over, he starts hooping and hollering like a monkey. <laughs> <laughs> there, see, he's fine. So they say he has a body to die for. They say, that's just like you, Clover. You go nuts for any cute guy you see, but right now we should contact Jerry and have him pick up his... Pick us up with along his body. Yeah, As they got he... Tim Scam all taken care of. <laughs> he fucking blew up and died. <laughs> Jerry's like, how did it go? Uh, I think he died in, expl- in an explosion. No more Tim Scam. <laughs> they, they use like a code word for when the guy <laughs> dies on the mission. Uh, he he de- bit the dust. <laughs> yeah, he's he gone. He died. <laughs> he went to the big... V- v- Villain jail in the sky. <laughs> he's on. He's on Snake Way. Uh, running Tim Scam, running Snake Way to go meet King Kai and learn the Kaioken. We killed him. The Scamoken. <laughs> the Scamoken. <laughs> they say we should call Jerry, as he definitely needs medical help, as he looks like he has been through hell and back again. Also, we should have WP run his DNA. Something tells me he is not completely human as there is something different about him, said Sam, angry. Angry? <laughs> Why is she angry? There's no punctuation and the sentences are so long. Good. <laughs> Good. That's what fan fiction is all about. Getting the most out of your sentence. With that, Sam took out her comm powder out of her pocket as she started to try and contact Jerry to have him send someone to pick them up and tell him about the boy they just found while Alex and Clover looked down at the boy as they both wondered who he was and what had happened to him to cause him to look the way he did now. Sam got a condom out of her pocket. And they just keep them. reiterating the same knowledge. <laughs> That's it for the preview chapter of Totally Spies Dragon Ball Story Challenge. The reason I decided to not put this story idea to put this story idea down as a challenge is because of the fact that I wanted to put a story challenge that people would be interested in doing. We should do that. Yo. The people who decided to take up this challenge and write it as a story can write it any way they want and pair Gohan up with any of the spies. It has to be Gohan specifically. 
What if every time we got in a tangent like this, we just actually did this and just let it go like that in an infinite spiral? <laughs> we just right. let this series spiral out of control, taking all these challenges and comments. <laughs> we do the Totally Spies X Dragon Ball Z story challenge. <laughs> please PM me what your ideas for your story are about, and as always, please review and leave a comment for my other stories. Thanks, and I am looking forward to the stories all of you write from the story challenge. You have to get approval before you can start your story. Okay, I'll message him. <laughs> Is that the end? Yes. I rate that a full moon out of ten. Three full moons. Hell yeah. Somebody said, what are you waiting for? When is the update coming? That was in 2014. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> now we're doing what are you waiting oh. for? It was in like 2011. This was written. <laughs> oh. I need to see Gohan become the Uzuru. I rate that an injured child lying on the floor fucking lifelessly while three skanks fucking bicker. They're gonna cut his tail off with the lipstick laser when he turns into the great ape. <laughs> <laughs> there you come, a furry's gonna be really upset. Rate it. I did. Rate I it. Did. I rate that one full moon in spandex. I know that joke's already been made. <laughs> You're just uh, rude. We're all horny now. It's true. The totally spies are so hot. <laughs> <laughs> They're always in spandex. They're always bitchy. They always got something going on. They're always talking about stupid girl shit. You know what's also always has something going on? What? Minecraft. What about it? Well, that should be our subject of next... The next Whoa. podcast. Have we not done two? a Minecraft episode? We have. We have? Do you remember sure? the, the creepypasta you read? I know we've done... We've had plenty of Minecraft stories. I don't remember if we've done an actual Minecraft episode, though. Minecraft's cool. Minecraft's cool. Alright, Minecraft. Minecraft. Minecraft, and you know I'm going to be looking for them. <laughs> Uh, I hate that Disney released a song called Crossing the Line. It's so hard to find our YouTube channel now. Oh, uh, God. There was that one we read with the, the creepypasta, and I'm pretty sure that was Minecraft, but maybe not. Like, um, we've done a couple. Like the my, There's the My Hero one where you have All Might with the Minecraft on his laptop. Oh, I think that was what I was thinking of. <laughs> yeah, that one's really funny. I love that picture. <laughs> you made that in like half a second while we were recording that episode. <laughs> I'm not seeing any Minecraft, so epic job, Steven. <laughs> yeah, I hope we all play Minecraft to practice. Of course, we gotta see Alex's big, juicy, square buttocks. It costs so much money to play Minecraft now. It's only twenty six ninety nine. It's only a torrent. <laughs> <laughs> but I can't play online. Sure you can. We'll all three play right here. <laughs> <laughs> really long cable. <laughs> I'll stream it and it'll get really laggy, but we'll all be there. As long as we get really good biome, fucking RNG will be good. <laughs> Thank you guys for listening. As I said before, we're all horny now and ready to take on 2021. We've got a lot of projects we want to do this year, and we know, I know we've said that a lot in the past like two years, but we really want to buckle down on it this time. We're going to have some exciting future guests on and future episodes as well as more other more other shows on the channel we've got more drawing the lines coming at you we're gonna do that right steven of course of course we've got more manga mondays coming at you got other exciting things whatever we feel like making so stay tuned and tell your friends that we're here living it up big time love dragon ball it's so funny I love Dragon Ball. I don't. I don't even remember if if I had even seen the original Dragon Ball before we started recording this show. I know I watched it a good while ago, but I want to say I hadn't watched it yet. So that's kind of crazy. I think it was like it. during yeah. the first season that you were watching it. Maybe. Uh, my my barometer for like time is basically when Elias lives in which house because he moves every <laughs> single year. I moved. Three times this year. <laughs> but there's like, like, there's like, 
your hobbit hole arc where we did <laughs> when we very first started uh, and then you guys moved in with me and then you moved out and did that and then you moved out here so like ev pretty much every year when your lease runs up you're in somewhere new so that's exciting <laughs> the hobbit hole arc yeah audience put the clues together triangulate where elias lives <laughs> <laughs> I lived in a very expensive part of town, but I lived in like a, just like a box. It, so it, was, it was a room, there was a stove, and there was a bathroom. <laughs> yes. It did have a pretty bitchin' porch, though. It was within walking distance of all of downtown, which was cool. Mm -hmm. Final thoughts on Dragon Ball, Steven? Uh, let's see here. Android 21's got a nice button. It saddens me it's became a gag manga because I really appreciated it. Well, you know what? Okay, I'm not a really... I'm not... I can't say I'm not too fan. I like Dragon Ball, but I do like And I've read it and watched it, but I just... I don't love it in the same way some people love it. And I don't understand how some people feel about it when it's like... Base, Maybe I've kept up with it too long. I think a lot of people just watched it when it was Dragon Ball Z on Toonami and they just stuck yeah. with that for their entire life. Yeah, I think a lot of people that love, that love Dragon Ball or people that, they play the games and stuff, but they haven't actually watched the show since it, it was like in syndication on cable TV. Mm. Yeah, that's and a that, good way to appreciate it. <laughs> yeah, because it's... For a lot of people. Because it was always like that stepping stone anime. Like everybody's seen Dragon Ball at some point in their life, but actually... You shut that kid up! Your pocket Digimon. My child, he heard talks of butts and totally spies, and he came. Oh, he's. Never mind, he fell asleep. Good. <laughs> okay. Say goodnight to your Digimon. Good night, uh, Mega Draymon. Now say goodnight to the audience. Good night, everybody. Have a great new year. <laughs> your child compared to your audience. <laughs> <laughs> Good night, son. <laughs> yeah, this, ep this episode comes out on January first, so twenty twenty one, the Woo! year of crossing the line. Yeah, for real. Content. 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 Ass. Yes. <laughs>